Dear Rentalscope members, if you're an Airbnb host, you may have gotten a warning recently in your app on the dashboard. Recent, uh, something telling you that you need to uh, use Airbnb's own Wi-Fi test tool to display any kind of sp speed because they're going to raise whatever you entered by November 4th. So you need to act fast. So to be just as fast as Airbnb, I got one of the most respected experts whenever it comes to anything Wi-Fi and Airbnb. It's Arthur Kolker. He's the CEO, co-founder of StayFi. So we'll, we'll, him will be talking about Airbnb Wi-Fi from like what's going on with Airbnb, their test tool, uh, what you have to do, and how his company can help you get things done, generally speaking. Arthur, how are you? I'm doing well. How's it going? Pretty good, and thank you for making the time. As I said, um, um, as we're shooting this, you know, Airbnb has sent a message to uh, hosts telling them to act before November 4th. And for people who don't know, uh, I will read the, what the warning the message that Airbnb is sending, and you will, you'll tell me what you think of that. You know? uh, so I'm going to read this with my best accent, which is always tough for me, right? <laughs> so basically, the warning is the Wi-Fi speed test tool is here. On November 4th, we will remove the manually entered Wi-Fi speed from listings. You can now use the Wi-Fi tool to verify and highlight your Wi-Fi speed uh, for, to guests. Wi-Fi is currently one of the top searched amenities and the easy to use tool is right in our app. If you have multiple listings, make sure you update each of them. So. I, you know, recently, you know, when the test tool was introduced, I wrote, I, I wrote an article on how to use it, but now it's new, right? It's like, like the mandate to actually sort of, you kind of have to use it, I think. Well, what do you make of that, Arthur? Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised and I'm, you know, surprised it actually took them this long because I think we saw over the last, you know, two years, year and a half, working remotely, working from home, it's kind of the name of the game. And that's what's pushing so many people to book short-term rentals, vacation rentals is because they want an escape, but they know they're still going to be working remotely. So I think, you know, internet connection and connectivity has always been important, but now it's really front and center in the guest experience. And so verifying that your short-term rental has fast and why a good Wi-Fi that's usable for streaming, Zooming, multiple devices, it makes a lot of sense. Um, so I definitely understand why Airbnb wants to collect this data and they wanna collect it in a way that's somewhat verifiable. So at least the test is using real data as opposed to self-reporting or making it optional, right? Um, yeah, so it makes a lot of sense. I don't know, do you have any other thoughts about why you think they might be doing this now? Yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. I've been working products before in in, in, te yeah. in a tech platform. Uh, it, you may want to send a warning like this, like a, with some kind of urgency, because maybe not people yeah. have been doing this, right? <laughs> so if you want to yeah. pick up in adoption, you kind of have have a, so it's a strong message. Um, one, two, it may mean that the data and that the data is right now on the platform. Uh, maybe they're getting a lot of complaints, right? Yeah. So like, you know what? We just this is just too expensive to field all these calls about the Wi-Fi being, you know, just like number being a lie and we need to act on now. So I'm not sure what's there. And the third thing I would say as well is that it's not easy, right? For example, one of our properties is in Bali. I'm not in Bali right now. And obviously you need to be on the very Wi-Fi yeah. network of the property to yeah. run the test. So it's not, yeah. it's not like I can, so there's like before November 4th, I can't go there. Of course, my, my team there can do it for myself. So I'm just, I, I am just like, I don't know why before November 4th, but um, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, the timeline, I'm not sure about. I feel like that's not much of a heads up. So I'm surprised they didn't give people more time in advance. And then the only thing I would say about the test itself is, as I'm sure you know, residential Wi-Fi or internet service, it's highly variable. So I mean, you could be at 50 megs, 100 megs, 10 megs day by day it can actually change a lot, even hour by hour. So when it actually comes to doing the test for yourself, one thing that I would encourage people to do is if you go into like Airbnb's documentation or their blog post about this, you'll see that 
it's not actually Airbnb's test. They're using an open source test from a company called MLab. Mm -hmm. And you can go to the, like the actual test it has its own website, speed.measurementlab.net. And so I would recommend anybody that's doing this to not just expect or do it only one time. I would actually um, te do the test several times and see what speeds you're getting over the course of a few hours or a few days to see like kind of like what the range is in your property because you obviously want to do the test when your internet is performing the best so uh, you know you can go depending on the time of day or day of the week you might get very different results so that's my only one thing about this test is it might not actually be reflective of the average speed in the property because that could be very different from one speed at any point in time Interesting. That's very, that's a very good, good tip. What other tips could you give to to people either for for to run the tests, um, or I don't know if I if I'm a property manager because you work you know with Stefi, you work with a yeah. lot of property managers, right? So imagine again by November fourth, maybe, maybe imagine I have to do like fifty properties and do this. Maybe it's possible by asking a cleaner to do this on top of what they have to do. Why not? But how would you? What would your advice be for property managers and what are what are other ways you you helping property managers generally speaking with Wi-Fi? Yeah, I'd say there's a, there's a few things that you could look at in terms of if you want to, let's say you find that the speed in general in your listing is not where you want it to be. And I'd say like they have some general guidelines, like anything below 20 megs a second, you're kind of getting into a danger zone where you won't be able to stream well in HD or do Zoom calls well. And then there's definitely like an upper range where like there's really not a big difference between like 100 and 300 and 400, like from an average user's daily experience, like they're going to notice no difference. So, I mean, there's definitely just kind of like a minimum threshold that you want to try to get over to have like a decent experience for Zooming and streaming and gaming too, which is even a little more higher than that. Um, so I'd say, you know, the thing with internet is there's kind of like a few devices that are all stacked on top of each other. And mm -hmm. sometimes you're kind of the weakest link in the chain can be kind of what is ruining the internet experience. So you can imagine you have your internet connection to the ISP and that's where you may be able to invest more money to get a higher level connection. So depending on where you live and where your unit is, there can be a ton of options like satellite, DSL, modem, fiber, even like Starlink, which is like new and much better internet uh, via satellite that's in like a beta testing. That's Elon oh. Musk like satellite oh, yeah. like setup, um, which is not really readily available yet. And then some places even have cell networks. So there can be a ton of options. And I'd say it's worth doing some research into what the best option where you live is. I mean, obviously fiber is going to always be the best, um, but some people do have an option between like cable and DSL and definitely you'd want to go with cable. And there might even be multiple plans that they offer. Uh, and you may be able to upgrade by spending more money to a higher level plan. And that might be worthwhile to improve the overall speed in your rental unit. Then outside of the underlying connection, you can imagine then there's like a modem Mm -hmm. And then you have a router. And then usually the router is also broadcasting the Wi-Fi network. Routers also create like the local LAN and we don't need to get like too technical, but it's kind of like routers doing something that's more than just broadcasting Wi-Fi, right? And so if your equipment is older, I'd say especially older than five years, you may be able to go to your ISP, your internet service provider and get a new modem and or router. And usually they're actually combined into one unit these days. Um, because upgrading that may also increase the speed and connectivity of the Wi-Fi in your unit. Um, so that's definitely another thing you can investigate, especially if you have older hardware. You'll definitely see an improvement if you get something new. Um, and you may even be able to replace, if you're like renting that equipment, you may want to buy your own and then you won't have to pay them for that either. And that's also an option that you can Google and look into and find compatible hardware for your ISP that you can get a modem and router to replace whatever they gave you, uh, especially if it's on the old, older side. This is great advice. And I would only encourage people to contact you because obviously you, you know a lot about the setups. And I, I must say yeah. I did the same right here. Basically, I've got uh, something called ADSL that we still have here because I'm yeah. pretty far away on the countryside. And yeah. I put just like a 5G, you know, I've got a, like a 5G connection 
connecting to that just to add uh, things because I found it was way better for the upload. Uh, well, a question on that, does it make sense, you know, for Zoom and the rest, does it make sense that Airbnb is only asking for the download speed or is well, uploads doesn't really matter in that case? What would you think as an expert? I think it it's just kind of, again, it's hard. Then you have like two values and how do you measure them? What's the threshold for each one? And I think it's too complex for like probably guests to understand the difference. So like I think one value is the best proxy that people can go by, right? Um, and then I would say, if you're talking about download upload, uh, the other thing to consider is where you are and what device you're using to do the test. Because mm-hmm. I'm sure you've, been on a Wi-Fi network uh, and you've seen like sometimes you'll see a Wi-Fi network broadcast um, like 2G, like a 2 gigahertz spectrum and a 5 gigahertz spectrum and sometimes right. you only see one network. I don't think it, people really know what those Never are. Mind. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so basically there is like the the when it's broadcasting these different kind of frequencies, you could say the 2 gigahertz one broadcasts further but at lower speeds. And then the 5G is doesn't have quite the reach, and but broadcasts, typically you can connect at a higher speed. And then sometimes, sometimes these are broadcast in a combined network. And actually the device is kind of switching between them depending on your distance from the router. So you would want to do this test close to the device that's broadcasting your Wi-Fi. And if you don't broadcast a combined network, you're gonna to wanna to select the 5 a gigahertz one because that will give you a higher speed and, and I had the question when i wrote the article that, that's gonna be my last but one question I promise mm-hmm. um because i think a lot of people are like i need to do this right i wrote the article and when this tool from Airbnb was out uh, a couple of weeks back and somebody r- wrote back to me and say why do you think they on you have to do this through the app why not do this on your desktop and i was like well maybe because with the app, they know you are on location on Wi-Fi, so really testing the Wi-Fi, not testing the broadband connection or the you know, the uh, Ethernet cable. You see what I mean? Is it so? Why do you think the it's through the app? It's not doable through the desktop version of Airbnb, for example. Um, that's a great question. I'm not totally sure. I would say again. Um, you would want, I mean, I would encourage people to do this test on a newer phone too, because they have a better, like older phones might be connecting to the Wi-Fi in like an older way. And so newer phones might be able to achieve higher speeds than older phones. Um, so, you know, there might be some advantages to using a newer phone. And then also computers might be able to connect at a higher speed too. So at least having a phone makes it some type of standard. And I don't know what type of location gating they're doing to make sure you're really there. Um, so I don't totally understand why they picked just phones, but I could see some rationale behind it. Uh, at least your technology they're using. At least you may think that the phone doesn't have a cable going straight into the uh, router. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, that could be another reason. I guess. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot again for the, all this advice. So if people want to know more, you know, about this test or stay fly, what's the best way to, uh, get a hold of you? Uh, yeah, they can go to stayfi.com. Um, or yeah, and that's the best way to contact me. They can actually schedule a demo with me if they're interested in learning more about Stayfi and then how our products and services can help improve your Wi-Fi speed connectivity with a mesh network that also collects guest data with a captive splash page. So obviously our focus is not just delivering better Wi-Fi experience, but also using Wi-Fi for marketing and capturing guest information. So they can visit stayfi.com and learn all about that. Fantastic. Thank you for the value and tips you delivered today. Really appreciate that. And I think people are watching as well. And I wish you then on that a great day. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you so much.